Welcome back to part three. So this is, this part is just the Great Hall in the Fairy Castle because honestly, this deserves its own part. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit so you can see it all and see the sheer scale of it. So up here is the good fairy welcoming you to the castle and then Cinderella, the prince, and the wicked stepmother are here. Here we've got a statue of um, the kidnapping of Persephone by Hades, yikes. And then the knights in the back there are uh, they're from the collection of Rudolph Valentino. He was a collector of miniatures, who knew? And he donated these to Colleen Moore's castle. Over the door there you can, uh, is the story of the Pied Piper. You can see he's got the kids all with him. And then going towards the back, if you look at those windows there, I'm going to zoom out a little bit so you can see them better. You can see the windows are etched with images from fairy tales. Now we're going to get into the cool part, which is images of the paintings on the walls. A lot of these were done by famous artists in the 20s and 30s. There's one, it's hard to get a good angle of it because it's at the back, but we're going to zoom in and hopefully we'll be able to see it. That is original art of Mickey and Minnie as done by Walt Disney. You can see some of the other beautiful art in here. He and then I believe this portrait Oh, it says who it is. I thought it was Colleen's mother, but it's not. Someone is the fairy princess in 1949, so that's cool. And then I'm going to focus on, you can see Cinderella's glass slippers there with the little bows on them. Hans Brinker's silver skates. The chairs and three bears. Who knew the three bears were that tiny? Uh, there on that is the goose with the golden egg. A pistol, it actually shoots bullets. The bullets are very small. They're about the size of a grain of rice. And let's see here. The other cool thing is back on the table there, you can see there's a bunch of statues of Isis. Those are super old, like maybe 3,000 years old. And then those pots in the back there are ancient Egyptian things to like apply eyeliner so oh and of course one of my favorite details i can't believe i forgot about it the floating stairway in the middle there's no stairwell there's no handrails so because they fly us right up all right that is the great hall we'll see you next week for part four